My first role model was definitely my dad, because he was an engineering major. My mother's in this field, so it kind of got me interested in it. The fun is actually learning it, getting through all these experiences, having people around you that you can celebrate things with. That makes it very different. You know, this school changed my life. <laughs> Here tonight, I would remind you that the Stone Age did not end because of a lack of stones. Every major advance in civilization is a result of innovation. So Rose Holman coming up on 150 years. The feeling that I have is a sense of privilege to be a part of it. I like to make things. That's something I really enjoy doing. Creation, problem solving. I tend to have ideas and think, OK, can I make that? And I give it a shot whether the answer is yes or no. There's just a lot of people who care a whole lot here on this campus. I feel immense pride. Immense pride in that community, the place where students, staff, and faculty have the opportunity to look into the future and see themselves. Engineers are not in the business of predicting the future, we're in the business of creating the future and want to make it good, want to make it strong, and want to make it just as great as it can be for the next 150 years. Each of you has an original story. Rose Holman has its own story too, in which you play a crucial part. Your time contributed to our 150th year history of innovation, entrepreneurship, and discovery. That has significantly helped us shape the world. Today, our stories continue into the future. And I know you'll all make us proud.